Hey friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping in. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subby friend. So today I am going to show Scott how to make a sticker using sublimation, design space, and the print and cut feature. So we're going to be using the slice technique. So if you're new to Cricut and you don't know how to use slice, I'm going to show you. Super easy and it's really quick. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to new project and then we are going to upload. Now this is because I've already got the pictures in here. If you don't have the pictures in the, in here then you're going to then you go through upload whichever way whether it's a file a picture whatever clean it up but i have my pictures in here so we're just going to bring them in so i'm going to go to view all so that i can get them and all right so i want this one And I want this one. So we're going to hit insert images and they will come onto our board. And now we are going to, we need to resize them to make them compatible. So I'm gonna go to more and I'm just going to put these at about three, all right? So now I want to move, oh, take this one off of there. So now these, so these are my two pictures that I'm going to be using. Now 3.39, I actually want this to be just a little bit smaller. Make it right about three inches in the width. All right, so now because I'm going to be making a sticker out of this, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to duplicate this. Now, if you're just doing the slice feature, you don't have to do this, but I'm making a sticker, so we're gonna do that. Now, I'm going to take my picture here and I'm gonna move it over here. Now, I want it, you know, I wanna decide you know, how do I want it to fit? Now, if I need to, I can make this one. Let me go back because I want this. I can make this one a little bit bigger. That way I have plenty of room to make this one fit in there. And if I need to, so I could click on this one and I can like turn it a little bit if I want to like maybe have a specific part in it. All right. Now, so once I get it where I want it, then I'm going to slice. Now, one of the things that people get very messed up on is that you can only slice with two pieces. So if you are putting letters together and you want to slice it out. So say I made the word home and I wanted it to go across this, I would have to weld my letters together. So if you're going to slice, you have to have only two pieces. So if it's something that's um, separated, you have to be able to weld it in order to slice. Okay. So now I'm going to, let me just sort of move this guy out of the way. Now I'm going to wrap around all of this. I need to make sure I'm covering both of them. And then I'm going to go down here to slice and I'm going to hit slice. Now, after you slice, you move this out. I don't need this anymore. I'm going to get rid of it. And I don't need this anymore. I'm going to get rid of it. And so now you can see, so I have my Florida and I have my beach scene on it that I want. Ah. Isn't that cool? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you can, you know, really do, slick. yeah, you can do it with any, 
any picture. So I guess technically I really didn't need to duplicate it. I could have used the other one for it that I got rid of. But so the reason I'm duplicating is because I'm going to be doing a sticker and I'm going to be doing sublimation. So I want a piece to cut out for my um, for my clear vinyl. And then I want my print and cut that I'm going to cut out for um, the color on the picture. And it's that easy to do slicing. Thanks, friends.